You've driven through it. Eyewitness News has covered it. It's been bumper to bumper since the Rhode Island Department of Transportation first closed the Gano Street exit and two lanes to repair and virtually reconstruct the Washington Bridge on 195. Thursday, RIDOT Director Peter Alvidi revealed there are some changes coming in the next few days, but there will still be traffic. Given the location, the strategic location of this bridge, there um, is little that can be done. We have, it's, it's, it's a dilemma for us. I cannot afford to have students late every single day for 18 months. East Providence Superintendent Catherine Crowley's concerned buses will be very late when the school year starts Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'm hoping that maybe the state um, can offer um, some suggestions if this is going to keep up this way. Alvidi says he's working with them and his team is armed with data. He says cars were delayed at the most 27 minutes when driving along 195 West. From Route 114, the delay, 28 minutes at the peak and 50 minutes from Route 44. And when the school year begins, Alvidi says the times will go up, but he says the work simply must be done. I think these pictures speak for themselves, right? They're exposed, reinforcing rods where the concrete is falling off underneath, rusting and erosion. This bridge needed to be done this year.